Uh, good day all. Uh, today we will do the target for pillage 112 and 114. Uh, uh, for the MK I'm repairing because I hit uh, 114 in auto uh, overnight uh, before sleeping and my fleet will be uh, you know repaired uh, during the sleeping hours. So second day it will be having full health. I still have one hour and 33 minutes to, to use it. Uh, in the meantime, I will try to record uh, for the 112 and later I will do the 114. So the 112, it's doable by the the uh, Gambit fleet. As well also, you can do it with the uh, uh, Everest. As well also with the put. For the Everest, I have created the video previously last month and it's the same target, so there is no changing. So I will not um, you know, do it again. But mainly you kill the most of the land with the with the Everest and then you the remaining ship and the remaining lands uh, or remaining rema remaining turrets you will be killed them with the turrets. It's a map repair, you will not get any damage. Uh, but it's taking time. For the people that who still didn't have the full build for the gambit, I think uh, they have the solutions to use the boot as well also uh, uh, the Everest. Uh, you can watch the video again, it's in my channel. Uh, I hope that will be helpful to you. Uh, for the time right now, I'm just using the Gambit to show the Gambit uh, build. I have adjusted my build to have the nucle nuclear accelerator because it's gaining my fleet to so have more splash, not more splash, enough splash to kill the, the lands as well also I'm gaining a comeback speed. Uh, the armors, as you can see, I have four uh, penetratives and two uh, explosives. Uh, this is, doesn't have all the special and therefore the the splash it's 95 because this is a counter measure ship it's not uh, a kill ship it's just only having a counter sh uh, measure ship uh, uh, you know counter measure um, uh, weapons uh, just only to counter measure the, uh, the the missiles as well also the uh, rockets uh, So let's go to the second ship. The second ship uh, still having the old armor, but it will be changeable because I'm still having also mix because I don't have enough armor to uh, to fit them. Uh, the weapon also it's also not old because I don't have also the. But this with this uh, pillage, I'll be having enough armors to refit my sh my 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 ships, as well. Also, I'll be having enough to uh, complete my uh, limited weapons. Uh, this is the splash and as you can see that with the changing of the new accelerators I'm having splash 150 and before uh, with your fleets it will be 160 but I'm gaining also 24% uh, uh, combat speed. Uh, I have here uh, still mixing so I have here the limited weapons which is 2325 uh, the damage amount as uh, the old one it's 1925 so if you are have in total it will be changeable uh, and therefore I prefer to have the limited weapon but if you're not able to get it you can still work with the uh, with the normal weapon uh, enough talking about the, uh, the the ship and let's so if you want to refit them I prefer if you have tokens if you don't have token do not spend time to refit your ship use that time to upgrade your raid ship as well also to build uh, 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 the raid ship uh, for the coming raid because it's only a week. Just only if you have tokens. You have two days tokens in the village and I'm sure there will be another tokens on the raid. Uh, so you can use them to refit the ship uh, according to your spe to your needs. Whatever uh, the, the, um, the, um, the, uh, the, the specials or the weapons you would like to refit. Keep it on the range of two, uh, the day or the tokens you have. For example, if you have only two tokens and their fit, it's taking uh, two days and 16 hours. You know, it's up to you to wait, but I prefer the 16 hours. I use them to upgrade my raid ship instead of uh, waiting. Uh, yeah, so remove the uh, the weapons that will reduce uh, the amounts to make it, for example, two days and two hours, two days and one hour, two days, three and hours. But don't go more than that because it, it's better to catch up with, with, the, uh, with the time. Because by the end of the time, uh, this game is the time management and you need to control uh, the amounts, the timing, 
that you spend in building the ships to uh, if you want to coin uh, to have less coining than the huge amount and then after a while you'll say, okay the game is too expensive and you quit the game uh, it's just only an advice uh, so uh, this is the fleets uh, I am going to, to, to work with and I'll see uh, one one two so it doesn't matter uh, from where you are catching up the target from 12 from 3 from 6 you always will start from the same positions which is on the left side of the screen and once you are entering the target group your fleet one directions and hit uh, you know click on shift on the keyboard and target that turrets over here uh, in this way that your drones will start up to go to that lands over here once the battle is starting uh, the things that you need to know there is some kind of uh, turrets that are countermeasures I have explained in the previous video and there is some with the range and some is it you can countermeasure them such like this penetrative uh, so let's start and see how it goes so I group my fleets and you can see right now my drones has been going towards that turrets over here. And right now just only I'm waiting my drones to be killed. I will target that lands clicking shift and target that turrets which is here. And I will wait for my drones to be killed and then waiting for this ships to be on safe you know safe entering so I will not be having any damage from it so I keep moving to avoid that my drones to be launched because uh, to catch up with the time and then when it's in safe I will just bring my ships and launch my drones I will not follow up the drone because there is a rocket over here and I need to keep a distance so when they are firing I will be in the safe zone you can see the rocket has been fired from here so it's firing so so once the turret are killed I'll mark the other turret so my drone will go to that directions and now I can go and kill the remaining land the remaining turret in this land as you can see with the splash I'm able to catch up so right now I'm killing that uh, lands over here at the same time I will target that turrets So with the ship over here you have the options to go and come uh, forth and back forth and back to kill it but I prefer to be coming to the mountains over here to reduce the damage that I'm getting and the idea that when I target the turrets over here and kill the lands over here because when I bring my ship and if my two my drones will start launching there is a rockets over here and it will start to firing at uh my, my ships and therefore i'll be having some splash from that rockets or some hits direct hit uh from and the uh from the rocket itself and therefore that when my drones is launching they will not go towards uh, the lands over here they will go towards that the lands over here or the lands over here so this is more important much important how to control your drones while you are driving so right now the, sh the ship has been killed I can go and with the speed that I have I'll be able to have the maneuver so here for example I'm I can come I can come in this way a second again second time I'm gaining a uh, damage from it but still the damage is is wayless I'm just only trying to this is one of the options the second options you can uh, keep coming from this side and you just only try to hit it but you know not always you are able to uh, 
uh, to have it clearly. I prefer it in this way, but if you have a better way, you are able to. I'm just only trying to show uh, uh, the best way to kill it. Now I have killed the turrets over here. Once it's killed, I will go in behind. I mark that turret over here. And I will wait for my drone to come. You can see they are coming and then the penetrator will start to... So right now with the splash I have uh, that all the land will be killed. That one was not yet. So I will kill it. Now with these ships over here, I prefer to come from the this side over here and then I can come in a straight lines in these positions without launching a drone. So I don't want my drones to be come because if they are starting to launch and they are going toward to the ship itself, then I'll be having uh, a damage from, uh, uh, from it. But whilst I'm driving right now, I'm in a straight, I'm in straight lines and then So in this way that I have killed the ships right now, I will launch my drones and they will go towards over here. At the same time, I'll go to these locations over here. And this is, as you can see, the damage is very low comparing with the previous uh, um, amounts. And this is without any crew uh, that uh, I'm using. This is the, the way I'm doing the target. As you can see, the, the penetrated, it's super sent, it's most of it, it's evaded. And uh, over here, the, it's only taking 2% and resisted 9%. So on the, that's why I prefer to use the, uh, the penetrative uh, armor because I'm taking more uh, penetrative than the uh, explosive. But might be the target on the coming because it's still changeable from Kixai. Uh, it's not the final uh, target, uh, so whatever you have, if you have 3x3 three three armors, then work with the 3x3. Three three. Uh, I just only uh, prefer to have uh, the new excavator uh, as uh, additional special uh, comparing with the previous build. I have 17 minutes damage. Uh, I can refit and, and uh, I can do the base repair. We can keep continue. You don't require to have 17, maybe you'll get 20, 25. 30 minutes it depends about driving but you will learn it uh, properly and you'll be having more uh, practicings and you can get it uh, you know better a uh, better way uh, as I mentioned keep hitting the target even if you are getting higher damage than what I'm getting it just only uh, to learn from the mistakes and learn from the uh, uh, memorizing the path uh the because it's very important to memorizing the path while you are driving and when to use the drone because the rockets uh coming from the ship and from the turret itself it's really harmful i will repair the ship so right now i'll use a crew and I will use the sea serpent or you can use the steel head uh, for the uh, for the splash over here the splash we have it's more than enough but if you have less splash maybe uh, than mine than what I have the 150 percent maybe it's better to use the this crew because it's having 30 percent splash uh, so it's it's recommended to have a better splash uh, it's just only the durations for it it's only 33 minutes so you know it's not long so and it's not easy to find them so keep in this in your in, in your in your calculations so I'll use the sea serpent
So this is with the crew, as you can see over here, uh, from 71 to 77 percent, and still, uh, uh, you know, less explosive. It depends about the movement, and you can see the the damage has been went down from uh, 19 minutes to 12 minutes. This is with the crew, and therefore that uh, since I'm able to do it on base repair, I'm not using crew. This is the difference. Uh, I'm using only crew when I have the ability to have the, the base, uh, sorry, the map repair. Uh, and sometimes when the target or if the target it's more difficult and I'm gaining more damage and therefore I'm using crew. So this is the only two uh, reasons that I use a crew. Uh, the first one, map repair I require or I will have more damage than expected and I would like to reduce it so I can do more target more uh, uh, of it. Uh, I hope this video helped uh, for the uh, uh, 112 and I will do in a while uh, uh, the, the 114. So right now I have just only replaced the uh, the 112 fleet, the Gambit fleet with the MK uh, because I wouldn't like to use the crew since it's already there. So I will do one with the crew as the same uh, one without crew uh, or one with the crew and you can calculate uh, if you would like to do the base repair or the map repair. The same things with 114 also, it doesn't matter from where you are entering the target, you always will start from uh, uh, the same position. So you have here the two possibility. The first possibility to come kill that, you know, the, the towers over here or the, uh, the buildings over here kill the ships, kill the the, uh, the missiles, kill these uh, turrets over here and then go inside and kill the whole lands. This is one of the options. The second option is that you kill from outside uh, and come back again and enter to the lands over here. I will do it in this way. Uh, it's up to you. The second, the first one it's having more damage than the second one but it's up to you. So I bring my fleet to the edge of the, of, of the uh, borders and then I turn and kill the, the ship then I'll kill the penetrative over here as well also I will kill the buildings and then I'll kill this turret for sure these two turrets you can kill it from uh, a distance uh, they will not fire at you but if you get a little bit closer uh, they will start firing at you uh, this is just only to reduce the damage uh, for it. Now, after you kill that one, if you want to enter from inside the lands and kill it, this is one of the options which uh, you will have more damage, but I prefer to kill it from outside and then go inside. So right now there is a turret hitting under the waters, and now it will be starting once you are closer to it. You bring your fleet as much as possible to the edge, and it will fire. You bring it to the second turret, I just, you know, uh, target it and to stop closer to it and it will fire. And then I'll target this ship and keep moving. So the drones will be starting up, but I'll be able to kill it. And then I'll keep moving to the second. Now I'll kill the ship this ship and the second ship on the top keep moving because you would like to you need to uh, avoid the the missiles coming from uh, the drones now when you are coming to the enter to the lands target this ship because this is you will kill it because it will be having, um, you know, uh, with the splash you will be able to kill that one and keep moving. 
so the drones are closer and you can see once I kill them you can see all these penetrative while you are moving you are insecure and we need to kill that one so I target the buildings so I need to kill the buildings before the, uh, the drones now I will kill the ship target the ship so this is the 114 with the uh, with the uh, crew and you can see the damage that I'm getting is very low so it's nine minutes uh, with the crew you can have a better result uh, if you are avoiding the uh, you know uh, the hits and you are killing faster so right now I'll do another one without the crew so I'll just only repair that part So you can see the driving is taking really uh, uh, matters over here. Uh, with the crew it was 9 minutes because I made some mistakes during the drive. But it's just only learning from the mistakes that you have. And therefore both of them with the crew, without crew, uh, since we are not in the raid, so the repair time is not half. Uh, therefore it will be uh, a base repair. Uh, maybe some of you will be, have the ability to do it. Uh, with much more uh, better but it's really it's about how you uh, drive uh, uh, and you know uh, the faster or the movements that you have it's really having involving uh, about the damage amount that you are getting I hope these videos will help to have a better uh, uh, you know better uh, uh, results to you and as explained, just once you are uh, able to get uh, uh, the, the path itself, the technique itself, it will be easy. So start with the 112, uh, for example, hit as much as you can, memorize uh, uh, the path that you drive, and then uh, use the MK uh, to have a better results and better uh, points. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope this will help you all.